Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Bulletin Man live from outside, or just from fresh from outside. It's snowing down here in Bulletin Land, and it's uh, it's really cool. I love the snow. It's hoping to have a little bit more snow uh, so we can go tubing. And I used to get inner tubes and go down the hill there at West Town Park, where the uh, I guess Comfort Inn is now. It used to be the Budget Tell there, right behind 7 Eleven. A lot of great times out there with my buddy David Hunter and uh, uh, all the folks from over at West Town and Trailer Park. I guess that was back in the late 1970s, mid 70s. My time does fly when you're having fun. I never thought I'd live to see 43, but here I sit by the grace of God and, and that alone, and uh, all is well in the neighborhood. Uh, God is just so good, He really is. And we got to give praise and honor and glory to Him. Hope you had a good Christmas time. It was uh, certainly a good Christmas time for Bulletin Man. And uh, I am just so happy that uh, you uh, have joined me on this Sunday afternoon. You may go upstairs and watch the Cardinals and the Rams uh, put together a football game. And hopefully that will be entertaining this afternoon. Uh, my next Bulletin Man video broadcast, I was going to do it uh, today, but I'm really not prepared. It's going to be the State of the Bulletin Address. Kind of give you an idea of which way the bulletin's going in 2010 and what our goals are. And really, my you know my simple goal is to just restore sane government, restore constitutional government to our land. And uh, folks, we've gotten so far out of hand. We really have. I I listen to this scanner all day long, and you know, DFS being called for just minor stuff. Tickets, tickets, and more tickets. Uh, now, it has been kind of snowy the last couple of days, so there's been a few accident-related things. And that's really what the police and public servants ought to be out there taking care of is accidents and crime and robbery. Like, you know, I heard of an armed robbery the other night on, on the scanner. They never caught the guy uh, in two cars, you know what I mean? So, my goodness gracious, um, they're really not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and that's protecting and serving us, the people. They only protect and serve the corporations or the banksters, is what I commonly, lovingly refer to them as. As, and the lawyers, you got you got a two two two. They're going to have a three three class system in this country. You're going to have the super rich, you're going to have the lawyers and the bankers, and then you're going to have the police and the EMS workers and the firefighters, the nine one one crowd, and you're going to have the rest of us poor folks out here being slaves to their system. Eventually. And really, pretty soon, the way, it's, the way it's looking is you're going to have to have a chip to buy or sell. And if it comes down to that, you take that mark, buddy, you're gone. You're out of you're, you're going to hell, straight to hell. You ain't passing go. You ain't collecting 200 bucks. You're going straight to hell. So I implore you, if it ever comes to that, remember the words of Bulletin Man. Don't take the chip. Let them take your neck or take your head before they let them kill you. For, you know, don't fear man who can kill you and... And, and that's all he can do. Fear the one who can kill you and cast your soul into hell. That's who you need to fear. And his word is very clear that if you take his mark, you take that chip, uh, you are going to uh, to go to hell. As simple as that. I, and, I, you know, that's what this life is all about. It's merely a test. It's either, either heaven or hell. Uh, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live or choose death because all those that hate God love death. So, I implore you to choose life on this Sunday afternoon. Went to church this morning, had a good service. The service was about praising the Lord and giving God the praise and giving Him the glory. And how if you praise the Lord, once you start praising the Lord and giving Him the praise and glory, then all your troubles is seem to melt away because God inhabits the praises of His people. So these are indeed very dark days that we live in here in America. I ask you to pray if you're a Christian for the uh, restoration of this country, this great republic. I ask you to become a Christian if you're not one. I beg you to become a Christian if you're not one. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Ask Him into your heart. And uh, and He will cleanse you and He will come into you. And you know all you have to do is believe in your heart that Jesus is raised from the dead and confess with your mouth that He is Lord. And you're in, man. And, and he'll work or start or start a work on you, and your holy the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and and you'll see things that you didn't see before. You'll hear things you didn't hear before, 
and you'll have a brand new perspective, a revelation of what your life is all about. For indeed, you were created for a reason. For, for the word says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And that's what he did for me. He ordained me a prophet unto the nations to warn central Missouri, and or the state of misery in Illinois, Central America, the mid-America. Uh, that uh, impending peril is on on the doorstep. The enemy is within. The enemy is at the gates. He is your local policeman. He's your firefighter. He's your lawyer. He's the banker. You know what? Uh, pray for these people. Ask them to get saved because once they're saved, then they won't want to be greedy and, and rule the world, you know. So uh, I just thank you for tuning in on this Sunday afternoon. I have a new bu Bulletin Man video broadcast for you on Monday, and the new Bulletin is done. It's been posted for a few days. I was hoping to have it out before Christmas, but it didn't happen that way. So I am going to be taking it to Nathan and Ronnie over at DNL Printing, the world's finest printers for, for excellent printing up all the time. 636-464-8488. Nathan and Ronnie at DNL Printing, they will take care of your printing needs. So just to give those folks a call if, if you need some printing and tell them the Bulletin and man sent you and that, that'll help me out so I love you and I appreciate you and as always tell a friend about the one and only bulletin man if you would see ya